If you just joined us, our guest on this episode of Question Time is the Chief of Army Staff, General Tukor Buratai. Don't go away. Let's examine the rules of engagement of the Nigerian Army. The Nigerian Army has been uh, pointed out by the Amnesty International, which raised the red flag on the conduct of the Nigerian Army. How do you respond to these allegations? Uh, in the first place, you must realize that the Nigerian Army uh, is an institution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's one of the institutions. Uh, Nigeria is a sovereign state, and the Nigerian Army is established by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to be specific, the 1999 Constitution as amended. Um, so, on what basis do you uh, term a legally constituted institution, you know, carrying out its own assigned role, and uh, you call it, you know, uh, all sorts of names? Uh, this is highly misplaced, and uh, our rules of engagement is derived from the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So whatever we do is legitimate, uh, is uh, 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 within the best you know, uh, practices that uh, we've been conducting ourselves. We observe strictly the rules of engagement and humanitarian uh, law also. Uh, let me tell you, the f first principle of the uh, the rules of engagement of the Nigerian army is the preservation of life, is the protection of life, of the individual's life. So on what basis do you categorize whatever actions of ours as, uh, as something else? You know, it is on the last resort that you see the military use, you know, open fire. Are you bothered about the cases of rape being thrown against the Nigerian army and um, uh, attack on civilians? Well, such are criminal acts, and uh, any criminal acts will never be condoned by any military. As I told you, we have our own, uh, we have the military, uh, the Armed Forces Act, uh, which the army is part of, and we have ranges of uh, offenses including the rape that you are taking of other this in which uh, I think those ones are under civil offenses. And uh, anyone that is uh, caught you know, violating uh, this law will be dealt with accordingly. So um, most of those accusations or allegations are uh, you know, not uh, improperly investigated and reported. Yeah, we will, we will, we will act. Three years back, the Nigerian Defense Academy was said to be admitting girls. Was this a politically motivated decision? Well, I would say yes, it was uh, politically derived, uh, that decision to start admitting uh, female uh, into the Defense Academy. And uh, this issue was raised, the Army about a year or two had stopped you know, accepting uh, candidates, you know, into the army to be trained in the Defense Academy. And um, so far, uh, I've received some representations and I've set up a committee uh, that will look into, into it, look at the, all the ramifications, Let, uh, let's look at our requirements for the female cadets or female officers, and uh, we draw a policy, a draft policy uh, on the uh, employment of uh, and commissioning of uh, female uh, officers. Now let's move to the area of the international collaboration to end the Boko Haram insurgency. Um, the multinational joint task force, what's your assessment of its performance so far? Assessing its uh, performance so far, uh, uh, the first thing, the first step was to establish the headquarters, to get the headquarters functional. And uh, as so today I tell you the headquarters is functional, and they are doing, um, they are very, doing very well. They are coordinating their various sectors uh, within those uh, countries that are operating in the north, in the in uh, uh, the Lake Chad uh, region. This, to a greater extent, yes, 
with the commitment of uh, the various countries, the governments of those countries, uh, their troops are doing very well. And uh, the responsibility of fighting the terrorists, you know, is being properly coordinated uh, from those, uh, from the headquarters and then from their respective uh, countries where the sectors are deployed. I think they have three sectors and uh, each one has its commander and the troops are operating and are coordinating. And so far we've been enjoying a very good relationship uh, with the multinational joint task force. Why did you change from the Operation Zaman Lafia to the Operation Lafia Dole? Uh, this is uh, one of the strategic moves you know, I took or decisions I took uh, when I was appointed the Chief of Army Staff. Mm. You know, um, if you understand the Hausa language uh, very well, uh, you can feel, you can have a feel of what uh, Zaman Lafia means. Uh, yes, uh, peaceful coexistence or peaceful living, you know, or peace, you know, uh, as it connotes, you know, uh, you look at it in the passive form. Well, uh, when you say Zaman uh, or Life Adole, it may not uh, literally translate to uh, peaceful coexistence by force or but it's a must, uh, peaceful, uh, peace is a must. Um, if you say life here, literally it means, means well-being, okay, dole. But in this context, you know, we all know it, it implies, it means uh, peace is a must, or peaceful coexistence, you know, uh, it must be uh, by force. So, uh, this has given, you know, uh, a sort of, uh, you know, more seriousness, you know, in approaching the insurgency, uh, fighting the insurgents, and uh, it gives, you know, that uh, urgency and that responsiveness, you know, for the troops, you know, for them to really know that, yes, uh, we've been begging them to, for us to live in peace, but it has not achieve the desired results. So we're now coming in to enforce it. General Tuko Buratai, Chief of Army Staff, thank you very much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time and also for reiterating the federal government's commitment and resolve in ending this war against the Boko Haram. We can only wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Benga. My pleasure. And that's it on this episode of Question Time. You may also send us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiro saying goodbye.